Hey guys, this is Brihadeswara Temple in India and I'm going to show you some solid evidence that ancient Indians were well connected to the rest of the world. This temple was built in 1010 AD so it is just over a thousand years old. You can see plenty of gods and saints carved on the temple tower but here you can see a European carved on the temple. This is really surprising because historians will tell us that the first European to reach South India was Vasco da Gama in 1498 but this temple was built 500 years before his arrival. Does this carving really show a European? To understand this Let's take a look at this carving in the same temple which shows how ancient Indians looked and dressed. You can see how they wore a lot of jewelry but usually did not wear shirts because South India is a very hot place. Notice the hairdo where they pulled up the hair to the side. This is confirmed by another carving which shows a similar hairdo and it also shows a broad nose. Going back to this figure, you will see the exact opposite. He wears a top hat but no jewelry. His shirt is shown with long sleeves and a collar. His nose is carved sharp and he even has a beard as opposed to Indians who were clean shaven. His hair is let loose to the sides and if you look at his hands and his face, it's almost looking like he is posing for the sculptor. If you compare this carving with Robert II, the King of France during the same period, it's almost an accurate match. Notice that the beard and the hair of the king matches with the carving. Even the long sleeves and collar are consistent. The only difference is that the king is shown with a crown in Europe and here he is shown with a hat. It's very likely that this carving shows King Robert II of France because only gods, kings and saints are usually carved on Hindu temple towers. How is such an accurate carving possible? Were the world leaders connected thousand years ago just like they are connected today? Are there any other carvings in this temple that show people from other countries as well. Here is another carving in the same temple that's also quite incredible. This clearly shows a Chinese man with a long beard and a long mustache. Here is a painting of an ancient king who ruled China. Look how he too has a long beard and a long mustache. Remarkably, he wears a similar headdress in the painting, just like the carving shows. History tells us that the world was not connected before 1500s, but these carvings clearly show that the Indian king Raja Raja had international connections on both sides of the world. How were these international communications possible without advanced technology. I hope you like this video. I'm finding a lot of intriguing stuff like this so please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and talk to you soon.